Good, Good morning, morning, DMS. My name's Courtney. And my name's Harper. And we have some fun things coming up on today's broadcast. Yes, we do. First up, Charlie and Kylie are making some delicious Valentine's Day themed cake pops. Those sound really good. We should go check them out. Hey, DMS. It's Charlie and Kylie. Kylie, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm just in the mood to grab on something sweet. Well, I think I know just the thing to solve that problem. Well, you better hurry up. My stomach really hurts. Well, we should make some cake pops to fix your hunger. That's a great idea. Wow, that really filled me up. Well, that was kind of the point. Anyways, that's it for today, DMS. It's Charlie and Kite. Sending it back to the anchors. Wow, those were some tasty Valentine's Day cake pops. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I heard Maya and Zoe were making a Valentine's Day craft. That sounds like so much fun. Take, Take it, it away, away guys. guys. Did you know it's Valentine's Day next week? Yeah, I did. We should do something to celebrate. Should we do a craft? Yeah, I think I have something in mind. That was super fun. Yeah, those were super cute. We hope you have a good Valentine's Day, DMS. Let's get it back to the anchors. That was an amazing craft. Yeah, I love hedgehogs. You know what I also love? What? Reading. Yeah, me too. I heard that Holland, Maya, and Alyssa are doing a segment about Shelfie Day. What's Shelfie Day? I don't really know, but I bet they know a lot about it. Hey, hey DMS. It's Holland, Maya, and Alyssa. Hey, have you guys heard anything about Shelfie Day? No, what is it? I'm not really sure, but I heard Miss Meyer talk about it. Well, we should definitely go and check it out. Yeah, we should. So what is Shelfie Day? Um, it's actually National uh, Library Shelfie Day this week. And so we decided to play kind of a, a game or a challenge with it. And it's where um, anybody can take a picture of them next to their favorite like, bookshelf. Um, so we decided just to do a, a game with it. When is Shelfie Day? Um, it was actually on Tuesday, um, and but we're we're running a competition through the entire week. Cool. What is the purpose of Shelfie Day? Um, it's just to kind of promote different books from different genres from people's favorite shelves, and so our little game here is uh, we have a QR code listed and if you scan that QR code you can um, access a Google form and it has all of these pictures of different staff members who are holding up some of their favorite books and so they're recommending them to you which we have on the shelf um, next to their their genre of choice and um, you have to guess who they are. So on the form, it'll give you like number one, and it'll give you all the staff members, and then you get to choose which one it is, and when you submit it, then um, you can win prizes. Wow, that was super interesting. I can't wait to see who's behind those books. Well, that's all for today, DMX. So Tom, Maya, and Alyssa, flipping it back to the anchors. Wow, that was really cool. Yeah. Harper, did you hear about the roller skating field trip? Yeah, I saw some photos. It looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, well, Corinne and Emma are talking to Mr. Springer about it. We should go check it out. 
Hey DMS! Crit, have you heard about the roller skating field trip? No, I haven't, Emma, but I've heard some awesome things about it. Well, I'm pretty sure Mr. Springer has some information for us. Super! How is it determined who is able to go? It really came down to the skating rink for the specific event. They said they had room for 150 students, so we kind of looked at how many students we have in the building and, and determined that about 25% of students would qualify um, to go. And so then we decided to make it each grade level just to make sure it was fair for each group of students. Is this an annual field trip? We don't know if it's necessarily going to be an annual field trip. We do want to continue doing fun events with live school, skating rink, worlds of fun, main event, or different activities. But we do want to have fun events with live school and kind of figure out ways, creative ways to use your guys' points or reward um, students who are following directions. Could all three grades attend this field trip? Yes, the um, top 25% of point earners in live school at each grade level were eligible to go. Well, I definitely know a lot more about it now. Yeah, and Mr. Springer taught us a lot more about it, too. We'll have to take a trip up there sometime soon. You're right. That sounds like a blast. Well, that's all we have for you today, DMS. See you next time. This is Corinne and Emma rolling, rolling it back, back to the anchors. anchors. You have to be pretty athletic to be good at roller skating. Yeah, I agree. You know, speaking of being athletic, I heard the basketball season ended recently. Yes, it did. Off to Michael and Chris for a basketball season recap. Good morning, DMS. It's Chris. And Michael here. I think it's time to look back on this year's basketball season. Yeah, same. We have to go check it out. How was your season this year? Uh, it was pretty fun. We didn't win many games, though. Uh, what was the best part of your season? The best part was hanging out with all my friends. Oh, that's always fun. And uh, what was your greatest takeaway? Um, I, I got a lot better this year. And uh, will you play in high school? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll have not. to find out. Yep. So, how was your season? Pretty good, man. Yeah. You know, we were like 10 and 4. What was your favorite part of the season? Um, probably the end of the year tournament. How was your guys' season? The season was great. Um, we had a great group of girls that worked really hard. Um, they improved throughout the season, and it was exciting to see that improvement. Did this season exceed your team's expectations? You know, the season, when you go into it, uh, you don't really know what it's going to be like, and this year was really different because seventh graders got to play. Yeah. And so it started off kind of weird because they got added a few days after the season started. And so it took a little while to get adjusted, but once it did, the girls were fantastic. And the, as, a, as a group overall, they worked really hard. That's really great to hear, Anna. Well, congrats to everyone involved in this year's basketball season. Yeah, you guys had a great season, and we're already looking forward to next year. Basketball season was so much fun. It looked like a blast. Well, sadly, this broadcast is almost over, but not yet. Last but not least, we're sending it off to Davion and Caden to learn about Robotics Club. Yo, DMS, it's Davion. And it's Kevin. Hey, I heard that they had a robotics club to win time. Yeah, we should go see what's up. So we have two different times. We're going to meet during win time um, once a month. We're on the win club rotation, so you can check that out. And then we also meet after school every other Tuesday. So our next meeting will be next Tuesday, like February 4th or something like that. After school from 2.20 to 3.15. How do we join a robotics club? Just show up. Wow, that looked really fun. I might have to join someday. Me too. Well, that's all we have, DMS. Autobots, roll out. I never knew how fun robotics could be. Yeah, me neither. Well, that's all we have for you today. And don't forget to be respectful, be responsible, and, and cause kindness. kindness. Goodbye, DMS. DMS.